everyone out there, I just want to do a little video where I address something with baptism and grace and salvation. Uh, something that really worry me a lot. Uh, yesterday I uh, put a picture on Facebook with uh, just with the purpose of baptism and um, and it's just Bible. It's just what do the Bible say about baptism? It was just quoting scripture. But what really worries me that people react so strong sometimes about quoting scripture. Uh, and don't go to me if you have problem with the scripture I'm quoting. Go to the author. Go to the guy who wrote those verses. Uh, but one of them is that people react sometimes and, and give a worse back. I've heard again and again. Ephesians 2, 8, 9. I want to address that, that here. Ephesians 2, 8. Uh, for by, by grace we are saved through faith. By grace we are saved through faith. Really strong word. It's not by works, no less any man shall boast. It's, it's, it's a gift from God. This is what it is. I want to say that these words first have been misunderstood a lot. Uh, and I want to look a little about the three words, grace, safe, and faith. By grace, we are safe through faith. First thing I want to say that people sometimes... Okay, what is grace first? Grace is... A gift from God. You read that in the same line. Grace is so much more. Grace is something we have not deserved. It's not by us. It's not by our works. It's not something we can boast of and say, hey, I got salvation because of me. No, it's a gift from God. But that gift needs to be received. And this is where faith comes in. Because Grace is not, if you look at grace as a free gift, and then people often misquote Ephesians 2 11 and 2 8, saying, like, hey, we are saved by grace. No, we are by grace saved through faith. It's not by grace we are saved, we are saved by faith. It's the grace of God, it's the free gift of God, it's the mercy of God. It's the undeservable grace, mercy, and love of God that we today can get saved through faith. So it's not the grace that is saving, it's the faith in Jesus that is saving. And it's the grace of God that we today can get saved through faith. It's if faith was not necessary for salvation, and it was only grace that was saving, every man would be saved right now. Those people who did not believe in God would be saved. Those people who continue in sin would be saved. Those people who believe in other gods would be saved. Why? Because they have done exact nothing to deserve it, but it don't matter because it's the grace that is saving. But this is not what the Bible says. We still need to receive that free gift. We still need to pack it up and receive it. And that is where faith comes in. You cannot be saved by grace alone. <laughs> you need faith. It's the grace of God that we are saved through faith. And then we need to talk about faith. What is faith? Faith in who? It's not just faith they are saving, because faith cannot save by itself. Satan and demons believe, and they are not saved. There is people in every religion who believe, but faith in itself cannot save. It's faith in who? And there we have to say, oh, it's faith in Jesus, but you have to understand that there's actually many people who believe in Jesus and are not saved. Mormons believe in Jesus. Jehovah's Witness believe in Jesus. Many religious people believe in Jesus and are not saved. Why? Because they have misunderstood what faith is. To believe in Jesus, to believe in that one right Jesus, first of all. The biblical Jesus, the one we read about in the Bible. 
And the next is to faith, put your faith in Jesus to obey him. For example, if I'm standing here on a small road now, let's imagine this is a big road. And behind me there's coming a truck with full speed. And I don't see the truck because I'm walking here and talking with you. And that truck is coming behind me and that truck is going to run me down. And some person see that truck and some person is standing there on the side and he's shouting, Torben, a truck, move! If I believe in him, what do I then do? I move. I, I will move. Why? Because I will not stand here and say, yeah, I believe in you. And stand and continue standing there because to believe in that person is not so much to believe that he's real and he's alive is to believe in his words to believe in Jesus is not to believe that he one time lived is to believe in his word to believe that he's alive today and to believe what he's saying is the truth and Jesus has said different things and if we believe we obey Faith with our works are ah, dead, it's not alive. And Jesus did not say, move, a truck is coming. He said something else. He said, repent. He said, get baptized. He said, receive the Spirit. He said, obey my words. Word. So if we believe in Him, we will be saved. It's the faith in Jesus that saves us. It's not the grace alone. It's the it's by God's grace that we are saved through faith in Jesus Christ. And what is salvation? Salvation, we are saved. Salvation is, if you see in the Bible, Paul, he said one place, I am closer to, how do you say it? Uh, I had to translate for the Danish to the English one. <laughs> uh, he said, we are closer to salvation now than when we came to faith. Because, and he said, the one who keep on to the end shall be saved. Most of the time we look at salvation in the Bible, it talks about the, 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 the future. Something that's going to happen. The, the Bible maybe makes clear salvation is, is a past, past, a, a road. You get saved, you get saved, and the ones who keep on to the end shall be saved. And, and, and a good picture in the, is the Israelite, in the Israelite in the desert. They first need to get saved out of Egypt by the blood came on the door. And they got saved out of Egypt, but they needed salvation again. They needed to get saved from Egypt, from their old life, to wash their old life away. And that was where they got baptized through Moses to Moses and then they needed to walk by the Spirit and we know that many of those people who got saved out of Egypt got saved through the Red Sea they later died in the desert why because they did not walk by the Spirit and they did not enter into the promised land so salvation is, is more than just that one moment and many years ago I said that I got saved 5th of April 1995 now I will say I started to get saved 5th of April 1995, because there the, work, the progress started in me. It took me six years to really fulfill that when we talk about getting born again, to really experience that salvation. Because what are we saved from? We are saved from our sins. And, and that is a progress where God needs to work in us. And that is where baptism comes in. Bap is part of that thing that save us, save us from our sins together with repentance, together with walking a new life. Baptism without faith is nothing. So we don't say, I don't say that baptism in itself is saving, but baptism is part of it. And the misunderstanding people many often give when it comes to Ephesians 2, 8, 9, when they quote, by grace we are saved through faith, is that they don't understand that what faith is. Faith is obeying Jesus. It's not just pray and say, he's Lord. Because Jesus said many one day say, Lord, 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 Lord many, Lord. he said, why do you say Lord if you don't, do not do what I say? So it's not just a confession that is saving, it's a life. But we 
when we then obey him and live that life, we don't boast and say, hey, I am saved because I obey Jesus. No, that is, it's not like that. Try to man somebody who's drowning and he's on, going under the water. We then cast a rope up, or throw a rope, rope up to, out to him in the water and he cling on to the road, rope. He will, and then come in the water. He will say to that guy who throw the rope out to him, oh, you saved my life. But who was it who cling on to that rope? It was you and me. And this is what I believe. I believe that we need to cling on to him. That is faith. Faith is to cling on to Jesus, is to continue in Jesus, is to live with Jesus. I will never and no man should never boast and say, hey, it was because of my works I got saved. No, it was all because of Jesus. But we know that faith is not dead and faith is obedience and we need to obey him and we need to continue in him and we need to live with him. And that is also where baptism comes in. Baptism is part of that salvation, part of that walk. So just one, I hope it makes sense because it's so sad to see that, that when we talk about obeying Jesus, talking about doing the first thing he asks us to, in many cases, get baptized, there's people who are quoting scripture. <laughs> like Satan did in, when Jesus was tempted in the desert and said, no, 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 it's, it's grace, it's grace, it's grace. Yes, we know it's by grace we are saved, but we are not saved by grace alone. By God's grace, we are saved through faith. Nothing to boast on, but it's the faith. It's the clinging on to Jesus. It's taking hold of his mercy. It's taking hold of him. It's crying out to him. It's saying, Jesus, I want to live with you. And then Jesus is doing his work in us. And he's saving us. He's getting sin out of our body. He's washing us clean through baptism. And he's cleansing us by his Holy Spirit. And then one day, hopefully, we will stand there in front of him and we will be totally free and that day will of course not happen before that day he's coming back and taking us home so but i know it's so difficult because our tradition is so difficult because what we have grown up in and just occurs you to see the pioneer school see some of the videos i've done about this okay it was just some thoughts big blessings bye bye